Hey guys, it's BBB Production and this is a video tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about processes on your computer. Alright, on your keyboard push the out, control, and delete button. If you know other ways of opening the Windows Task Manager, then you can do whatever way that you want. But what we just did is open the Windows Task Manager. So, when you open it, it will by default probably be on the Applications tab. And it will tell you the programs are running. Right now I have Rocky Doc running. This is Rocky Doc. And then I have my recording program running. Now if you go to the next tab, which is the Processes tab, it tells you all the processes that your computer is running. Um, it will tell you the name of the process. It will tell you the username. If you have more than one user on your computer, they might be running a program. And then it will tell you the memory usage also. Each thing that you have open, each process that is running, will be using a certain amount of memory. And that slows down your computer the more processes that you have. So less processes that you have running, the faster your computer will go. Um, but most of these processes you have to be running. If you end the process by right clicking and clicking end process, you can seriously screw up your computer because most of these processes need to be running at all time but some of them you do not need like this recorder.exe is my recording program cam studio that is that will not be running if I didn't have it open right now now I'm going to open the internet and now it just opened firefox.exe and it's using a lot of memory now if I exit the internet, Firefox EXE will go away. Anyways, like I said, there's pro processes on here that you don't need and that will be running on your computer. But, like I said, if you end certain processes, it can script your computer. So you need to know which ones are good or not. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to end the process and how to find out if the process is good to end or not. Alright, first of all, open up Google and type in Process Library. This is a website that we're going to. Um, there will be a link in the video description also if you just want to click there. Just go to the first search result on Google and at the top there will be Find a Process or DLL and then you can find any process that you want. Also, I want to tell you that sometimes when you install a program that's free and it's a trial version, when you remove it, it doesn't usually most of the time remove all the files. Sometimes it leaves a file called a .dll files. Um, these files are very common and they're basically in any program that you have, but they will do a certain command. Like every time you start your computer, that .dll file could still be in there left behind from when you use the program and it will have a pop-up come up or something and it's annoying and there's so many .dll files in your computer that you don't know exactly what one to get rid of so when that pop-up comes up you can get rid of the process by going to the windows task manager anyways um, here you can search for dll's to see if they're safe or not or you can search for processes. Uh, I'm just gonna do about two examples of processes that are running on my computer. Okay, first I'm gonna do um, it's called svchost.exe I'm just gonna type that in and search for it. Okay. After I search for it, it gives me a description. Uh, it says that it's a system process belonging to Microsoft Windows operating system which handles processes executed from DLL, DLLs. The program is important for the stable and secure running of the computer and should not be terminated. If it says it should not be terminated, that means you do not end the process. But then if you have one that you can eliminate, like I'm going to type in firefox.exe. 
and then it will say Firefox is part of what's the internet browsing thing and it is connected to your internet but this is okay to end but if you end it you will be exited out of your web page that you have open but that's one of the ones that are okay so you just pick the ones that you aren't sure of like win login that you have to have um, and it is normal to have more than one of these because these are like the main processes system idle process system um, this one process library will basically tell you all processes they might not have some of them that you have because they're very uncommon or unknown but they will pretty much have everything um, they have over 300 million searches and grown also you can search DLLs if you go to my computer local to C programs I'm gonna go to uh, common files ALL I'm just gonna find a DLL file okay so I have this one I'm gonna copy the name and then I'm gonna enter it into here find and you cannot find that but you get what I'm saying um, you put the DLL in here I'll tell you what it is tell you if it's safe to delete or not cuz these DLLs make it so things will pop up and stuff but a lot of them are good but one can just make an annoying pop up that comes up every time you load your computer so if you think what no if you know what program is doing it just say you get like um, Windows Media Player keeps having a pop up that's annoying. You just go to Windows Media Player and you see a DLL and you just search for it and it says this creates an annoying pop up and you can delete it. Um, you just have it takes a long time, a lot of patience, but if you're really annoyed by pop ups then you can do that. Right now I want to show you a program called Hijack This. Just Google search it. And this program is free. So it is from Tread Secure. It is a free program. Just go and download, hijack this. And this is a good program for any startup processes. So the icon looks like this hijack this. When you open it, you can do a system scan. And it scans all the processes that load when you start up your computer. And you can check them and fix check. So it will not um, like pop up or come when you start your computer or whatever. So it is a very good program and it's free. So. There's also Startup Cop and many other programs that you can use that are more simpler, but I like Hijack This. Alright, that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Make sure to rate this video and also subscribe to my YouTube if you haven't already.